Hey guys, what's up? Alex here with another Sony Vegas Pro 11 tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create a simple but effective color correction designed for Call of Duty montages. So let's head on right into the program. And the type of color correction we're going to be doing is going to be a type of bleach bypass effects where you kind of desaturate all the colors in your video and then you're just going to add more contrast to it. So it's going to give it a type of cinematic look. So you're going to have your clip on the timeline and obviously the first thing you're going to do is right click on the video, go to properties and make sure you disable the resample. But make sure you don't uncheck maintain aspect ratio because uh, we're going to be changing that a little bit later on in the tutorial. So you're going to have your video clip and we're just going to duplicate only the video track. As you see here, I have a single video clip. If you already have, you know, different clips on the timeline, all you have to do is right click on the video track that are all on and just duplicate it. All right, so you have two of the same videos directly right above each other. And what you want to do is go to your video FX and go to black and white and apply the default. And the reason we're going to do this is that we're, go we're just going to uh, kind of desaturate the colors. Of course, you can do that using the saturation adjust, but uh, we're just going to be using black and white just so it would be easier. And you want to change the blend amount to 0.8 so that almost all the colors are totally black and white. And the next thing you want to do is go to your compositing mode on the video track we just duplicated and change it to multiply mask. And that's going to blend these two video tracks together. So as you see here, the first video track isn't altered in any way, but the second video track uh, was selectively desaturated. So it's going to blend it a little bit and the contrast is going to be a little bit higher. Yeah, so we're almost done, we're halfway done. And we're just going to go to color curves next and apply it again to the top video track. Let's apply the default. And once you apply the color curves, you can get this little menu window and you have two tangents. So if you hover your cursor over this little area, you should get this little icon. Uh, basically this top area tangent controls the highs and the bottom tangents control the lows. So basically this controls the uh, brighter colors and this controls the lower colors. So basically white, black. All right, so we're just going to get the top tangent and we're just going to click it and drag it to the left. So your curve should look something like this and you just want to get the bottom tangent and you just want to move it only a little slightly up and now we're almost done. Next, you want to go to brightness and contrast and apply the default one to the uh, unaltered video clip which is the bottom one and we're just going to bring the brightness to around 0.4 and for the contrast we're just going to bring it slightly above the brightness so 0.4 for brightness and around 0.5 for contrast so we just need to make a few adjustments so let's go on back to our brightness and contrast and you just want to lower the brightness down to about 0.2 and the contrast to about 0.4 or 0.3 and then go to the top video track and go to color curves and get the bottom tangent and then just bring it down only a little bit and there you go we're almost done now to give it sort of a cinematic look all you have to do is go to the top uh, video track and go to event pan slash crop and make sure you have these two options selected and you want to go to the middle uh, box right here, hold control, click it and drag it inwards. And you want to drag it to about 573.9. There you go. That's how you create a cinematic type of color correction for your Call of Duty montages. I hope you guys like this tutorial. If this helped you, uh, please subscribe and watch my videos weekly. And if you have any problems with this tutorial, just post a comment on this video and I'll get back to you within uh, one to two days. Anyways, I hope you guys like this tutorial and I will see you guys next time.